I think there are a few things that my mind sort of wonders the react well okay <laughs> let's take a step back obviously this isn't a realistic situation um though i suppose it happens to the odd fan <laughs> Hi YouTube friends, it's Trish here and welcome to my little corner of the internet. Today I'm going to chat the idea of you because I watched it last night. <laughs> I um, was debating on whether to do a reaction style video to it but was worried since I am fairly new to those that I would be too awkward because I went into the movie thinking that it was like spicier than it ended up being. Um, not to say that it wasn't still spicy, but yeah, I just, I don't know what I was expecting. Maybe something like, um, 365 Days, which I haven't seen, but, but I've watched YouTubers recap it. So I guess I was expecting something not totally over there because it is Anne Hathaway, but in that general direction. And I suppose this movie constitutes in that general direction. I maybe thought it was going to be a little further along than it ended up being so um but anyway I enjoyed it it's been a long time since I've just sat down and watched a rom-com and it was Anne Hathaway so of course I was going to watch it because does this really constitute as a rom-com I've been debating on whether to call it that or not because it didn't feel like a comedy movie it was just What would you constitute it as? It definitely had the fanfic feel, so I haven't read the book. Um, I do believe it is a book that it is adapted from. And uh, I know that there's some rumblings going around about how it, like Harry Styles, wasn't the inspiration, but it kind of feels like he was an inspiration. The author some years ago apparently did say that he was loosely like the main guy was loosely inspired by him but is now sort of retracting that so i i don't know any of that kind of stuff so anyway my point being i haven't read the books and i don't know that much about anything around it i just watched the movie last night so yeah the movie it was um it was a movie it wasn't bad i mean Again, it's Anne Hathaway. Like, how is it going to be bad? She's an incredible actress. Um, what's his name? Jonathan something or another, right? I always look around and forget that I'm filming on my freaking phone, so of course I'm not going to see it. Nicholas. Jonathan. <laughs> Nicholas Galtzini. Galtzini? <laughs> anyway, um, I've seen a few of his other movies. Sometimes the flights sound super loud to me, and then during editing I notice that it's actually not that loud, but usually they're fairly loud, so I try to let them pass. Anyway, um, yes. So, both really good actors, but Anne Hathaway has, you know, a more of a history she's been around so yeah i put it on last night sitting in my bed watching it by myself it's been a long time since i've watched a movie in that realm of light romance light drama sort of situation um so i feel good just to sort of sit in the gathering darkness <laughs> i think um like a storm a short spring summer storm had passed through at the start of it but then it just sort of was overcast for the rest anyway it was like perfect vibes for watching a movie like this I think and um overall it was a good movie it just 
I think there are a few things that my mind sort of wonders the reality. Well, okay, <laughs> let's take a step back. Obviously, this isn't a realistic situation. Um, though I suppose it happens to the odd fan. And she wasn't, her character wasn't even a fan of his. Um, just happened to be at the fan meet and greet. So... It's rare, but I guess it has happened once or twice where a celebrity of some sort ends up with a fan. So, not completely out of the realm of possibility, but very, very, very slim chances that something like that is going to happen. So, in the grand scheme of very slim chances of this being a realistic situation, there were a couple of things where I just wondered... If a character such as Anne Hathaway depicted for Celine would actually make these decisions, and granted, I am not a 40-year-old woman who has a 16-year-old daughter and anything like that, so I can only <laughs> relate to, well, not even <laughs> relate to it, you know? Um, anyway, where to start? Okay, I do want to say that usually rom-coms have some aspect of silliness added to it, and I notice that some actresses will act parts, and I'll enjoy it. Even though it's a silly circumstance, it's enjoyable to watch. Um, the biggest one coming to mind right now is in Confessions of a Shopaholic when Isla Fisher's character starts dancing with him um, at one of the events or something like that and she starts doing these crazy outrageous dance moves and you're just like okay that would never probably happen ever I I've been out once in a while and I've never seen anyone dance like that but she does it so wonderfully that it's just it's a joy to watch but then there are other situations, like in the recent movie, um, Much To Do About You, Much Ado About You, something like that. Um, there's a scene in the flight where she's trying to get his cookie and her sweater gets stuck and then she's like in that position with her butt in his face essentially and I'm just like, Ugh. So there's things like that where I'm just like, no. Um, even earlier in the movie when she's in the bathroom and she ends up getting, she ends up getting super wet and stuff. And so she's trying to dry it out and she starts going in positions over there. Like this movie really wanted to put her in awkward positions <laughs> that was very suggestive, I guess. And it's just not my type of humor, maybe. Uh, so... I don't know. I wasn't really into it, but I noticed that in this movie, that sort of similar scene would be how she left the VIP area searching for the VIP bathrooms and saw someone coming out of his trailer and assumed that it was a VIP bathroom trailer, <laughs> I don't, which I've never been to Coachella, but even that doesn't seem likely but then again when you walked into that trailer it didn't seem like a pop star's trailer not that I would know what a pop star's trailer would look like but I guess you would assume that there's some sort of elements that felt lived in and it didn't it felt sort of like a hotel a uh, hotel hotel on wheels um which I mean yeah I assume that's what a celebrity trailer would be but I don't know. There was something about it that I was just like, okay, I can see the realm of why she would think that this would would be a, a VIP bathroom, whatever. And she doesn't know um, particularly what he looks like. So when he says hi, she's not recognizing him as a person um, from the band, just a regular person. So, um, so their whole mute meet cute thing was sort of like, okay, I, I'm I'm on board with this. It was later on when the relationship was developing, and I suppose I'll 
fast forward to their first tiff that they have when one of his guys sort of points out that, oh yeah, that's that's a bit we do. Like <laughs> the whole, oh, being attracted to a girl and pretending to just on the spot dedicate a song to her and so they're going to change up the set list. Like that's just something that they do. And um, she gets upset by this because she obviously thought that she was someone special but in the beginning it was just he was attracted to her which sure fine but at this point they're both developing feelings for each other I guess and that's like a different note that I have that I I believe the chemistry but I didn't believe the I'm in love with you (laughs) until later on when they were having their issues with the press and everything and but even then it was just I don't know the whole time it kind of did feel like oh these two are just hot people and they have the hots for each other totally fine the romance aspect of it of them being in love with each other I didn't really get and I feel like they were trying to give off that feeling in the beginning where they're sort of bearing their souls to each other I suppose and talking about the darker the darker aspects of their life and like things that had happened in the past and things that are they're going through right now and you know they they really open up to each other because I guess they feel safe with each other and um I guess that was supposed to showcase that they love each other, but I just didn't really, I didn't get the love. And again, it's not that they don't have chemistry, and I'm sure that they could have evoked those feelings. I just don't think the writing really gave that indication. So when she gets upset over there, granted she is like, oh yeah, like, I fell for it, dumb and 40 or whatever, and I can, I could see that happening, like, that was a fuckboy move, you know, and, um, she thought she was something special, but the thing is, at this point, she is, and so, sure, it might have started off as just, he was just attracted to, and so he did this move, but by now, like, you, she didn't think that she was going to be going on this Europe tour with him and he asked her to s- stick around. But I guess she's thinking, oh, one of the girls was just saying like, uh, there was this one lady that just wouldn't leave and and she was with us the entire time and we just kept waiting or something like that. So she's probably thinking, oh, am I that lady now? And maybe she's just obtuse and not getting it. But anyway, it's just... It really did just feel like they had the hawks for each other. And so when she breaks up with him and she goes back home and then the photos and the rumors are going all around and she's getting that sort of attention from random strangers and she goes to pick up her daughter and her daughter's like upset because, I mean, her husband did the same thing. And so for the daughter Izzy, like her dad did the same thing to her and she expected more from her mom. But they have a conversation there and Izzy learns that her mom actually does like him. And so I guess it feels juvenile, you know? They met under funny circumstances and are attracted to each other. He comes and buys all the art from her store. They have some conversations where they open up about deeper secrets, but then she's just flown all around Europe and, you know, they're in the honeymoon stage essentially and they're just having fun. So when in all that did she fall in love? But anyway, she was telling her daughter that she is attracted to him and and does actually like him. And so her daughter's like, wait, he's a nice feminist? Why'd you say bye? Which that was funny. (laughs) Like, what? (laughs) But okay. 
Uh, she's 16. She's cute. But then Celine goes to his studio while he's working and basically tells him that she like she does have feelings for him that are deeper that are in that sort of way similar to what he was saying to her when she was breaking up with him I guess and I don't know I just found it interesting like would Celine's character really do something like that because again it does feel a little bit like young love sort of situations and I don't know what I'm thinking would happen instead because she is saying that she liked him but I don't know it, it's still sort of like he's this young pop star and maybe this is my insecurities talking where I would be like nah he could do way better than me so so I would not be going to his studio I would just be regretting what I did and that that be it I suppose and move on with my life but no this is a movie we're watching so of course uh Celine is gonna go and and talk to him and they get back together and it's really rough on her daughter eventually uh in the beginning they're very like gung-ho about it that no, no, no we can do this we'll delete social media we'll just try to ignore it but there's only so much of that you can do the outside world is going to get to you so you know, she ends things with him, and at first he's quite upset about it, but he doesn't have a daughter, so he doesn't understand. Uh, but I'm sure he did some thinking, and he comes back, and he's like, okay, you know, let's just take, let's revisit this in five years. And to her credit, she is like, if you find happiness, take it. So she doesn't want him to put his love life on hold for her, and she also doesn't want to be expected to do that as well and he ends up coming back in five years and at first I was wondering is five years really long enough like Izzy is 16 so that would put her 21 years old because I just feel like that sort of scandalous situation what am I trying to say like the um the paparazzi and the hate language and speech and awkward questions from people around like that will continue or start up again because it already was before so it's going to start up again her being 21 is better than being 16 but is that still enough time i don't know and you want to think that, okay, if this is the second time around and he's going back to Celine, then maybe people will be like, oh, it must actually be love. He's going back to her. But <laughs> I think that's wishful thinking. I feel like it's still going to be a thing. There's always going to be people that are spewing hateful language. And how did I just discuss? this so like personally my views on age gap relationships and granted this is a different circumstance he's like this celebrity pop star that joined a group when he was in his teens which does age you in certain aspects but also makes you completely innocent and naive in others so there's all that for him but in general terms for the everyday world my views on Yeah, this kind of works out because I can just take a sip break. Okay, so my views on age gap relationships are that, I mean, it involves the two people that are in the relationship and how they feel about each other. And if it's true and real to them, then what are we to say anything about it? But I do feel like the younger in the couple should be at least in their mid-twenties and that's me being generous I really feel like they should be in their late twenties because put it this way all of the parts <laughs> are not even fully formed 
And then when they are fully formed, I still feel like there's a trial period for that. So, <laughs> so yeah, I'm really in the camp of, okay, age gap relationships, fine. I still feel like the youngest person should be in their late 20s because there's just, are you really even able to make concrete decisions like that when you're so young? And granted, I do understand that there are certain people that go through certain life experiences that really do age them. So, I suppose for the most part it's a case by case basis, but what is someone that's older really having in common with someone that young? Granted, like, his character over here is 24 years old, and again, he is this pop star, so maybe, but I think this circles back to how I was feeling earlier that, okay, yeah, they had a couple of conversations where they talked about these deeper, darker sides from their life, but those are sort of history things and not what they're going through currently, like, except for him and his dad, I guess, but that's even not something that's explored further. So they, like, drop these truth bombs, so to say, but none of them were developed further or really expanded upon more and so you really just didn't get the understanding of there being a is it gonna ring you just didn't get the sense that there was a love connection But this is also coming from someone who believes that when you love someone there isn't really words or explanations or something that you could pinpoint and say. I'm sure like there are things that you admire about a person, but wouldn't love more so just be a feeling that you have? I don't know. I've had love for people, but I don't know if I've ever actually been in love, so maybe I'm the wrong person to be talking about this. <laughs> um, but I still feel like I've experienced forms of heartbreak, so maybe I was in love. I don't know. I haven't experienced an earth-shattering heartbreak, I don't think. So... Do I just not notice the flights during the day and they become background noise until I'm filming? Or is it this time of day that there are more flights? <laughs> anyway, I think that was mostly all I had to say about it. It was lovely to see Anne Hathaway in this sort of movie. I think she did amazing. She looked amazing. I found that part funny when she was feeling insecure about going out in that French house or something like that to the pool in her bathing suit because um, they can only hope to look that good at 40, <laughs> you know? So why was she feeling insecure? But okay, they did the whole like boob thing, but I've never had super perky boobs, so... I don't that didn't really do much for me. But anyway, um yeah, that just that felt like, oh, come on. But at that point I'm thinking Anne Hathaway and not Celine. So Celine obviously was feeling insecure. I feel like Anne Hathaway wouldn't or at least I hope not. <laughs> but yeah. It was it was a movie that I think I would put on again just in the background while I'm working on stuff. It was a good movie. Was it amazing? No. <laughs> uh, it also was just not as spicy as I thought it was going to be. They had a lot of kiss scenes, which all all here for. And they insinuated that when she met up with him in New York, that they were just basically in bed, hanging out, getting physical, chilling, 
getting physical again, chilling. Like, they did give that impression, so... I just, I don't know what I was expecting, but I guess I was expecting more sex scenes. Um, but I kind of like that they didn't have a lot, so, yeah. I don't know. Those were my thoughts on the idea of you. <laughs> what the heck is going on? Like, this flight sounds different. And is that a duck? Okay. I think that's about it. I I didn't really have a heck of a ton of notes or anything. Like, I wasn't watching that movie with the intention of doing a video on it. And after watching it, there's not a heck of a lot that's sticking out to me other than I see the chemistry that's working. I don't understand the love and because I don't understand the love some of the actions that Celine does does not feel real or like what her character would or should be doing like she is this woman that has her own contemporary gallery and is rocking it as a single mom and all this kind of stuff it just feels the way they were going through this relationship felt very young in the decisions that were being made but again what do I know so uh, but other than that it was it was a good movie I just realized that I didn't really talk that much about Nicholas's character. Um, I'll blank on his name now. Not a great start. I think his name is Hayes. But his... So, Nicholas is acting aside because he's an incredible actor. Definitely a rising star. One to keep your eye on. Um, really looking forward to seeing more work by him. So, yeah, he's a believable actor. And that's great, especially to be working um, alongside Anne Hathaway. You need to be good <laughs> to keep up. But I think it was just more so this story, which is obviously more so supposed to follow her side of things. And she's sort of the main character, or at least that's what I was getting when I was watching the movie. Because outside of him sort of being so into her, I think what I was trying to get at before is you didn't really see so much of the partnership between them outside of them just really being into each other. So when she breaks up with him the first time, of course his heart is sort of broken because in at that moment he is developing feelings for her and she's saying that he's sort of an embarrassment and so the feelings aren't reciprocated um or at least that's how he's reading into it but later on when she ends things again because it's tough on her daughter what am I trying to say I think what I'm trying to say is that they he doesn't really have opportunities to depict being a partner so he does not notice that her daughter and everyone around them is having such a hard time with them being together it takes her having to and granted like she also seemingly didn't really notice um, until she was picking up her daughter and then she breaks up with him when he comes back from his thingy, um, with one of the bandmates. It's just something where, and then in that moment, he wasn't understanding of her situation. And I think what bothered me really was over there, he said, I can't believe you're giving up and you're not fighting for us because I feel like 
I should have leaned more towards wanting to understand, but again, that's maybe me thinking more logically and rationally and not emotionally because obviously you feel at that point that you're secure in your relationship and suddenly the other person is saying goodbye and seemingly it's not because the love isn't there it's an outside reason so maybe I'm talking my way out of it but I just feel like there weren't that many opportunities seeing them really be a partnership in a relationship together um yeah so he's a great actor and I believe them together I just again I think it just comes down to needing to see more examples of them being a loving partnership together to make me believe this relationship I guess because it really is just feeling like two high school or college aged individuals being in love and in the honeymoon phase for the majority of their relationship because they're just two hot people which I'm sure in the book it is more than that maybe I don't know I haven't read it but yeah that's yeah my thoughts on him I just realized while editing that wow you didn't really talk about Nick's character so there we go (laughs) okay back to me I just think maybe some writing stuff I don't know (laughs) okay I think I'm, I'm blank right now so there's not really anything coming to mind so that's about it and uh thanks for watching <laughs> i hope you understood any of what i was rambling about um i tend to do that and i tend to lose my train of thought and go off on a tangent and forget that thought from before so i'm sure that probably happened tonight because i was very distracted with everything going on but i really appreciate you being here so comment down below on what how you felt about the movie did you like it did you not Do you understand what I'm trying to say about the love thing and do you agree or do you not? I'm curious. (laughs) Okay. I think think I'll go now. I hope everyone's having a great week so far. Toodles.